Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about something that I get questions about all the time all the time in my inbox. I got two questions today, which is why I'm addressing this in a video, and it's how to paraphrase without plagiarizing. Now, when you paraphrase, you are tiptoeing on the edge of a very dangerous rope. You are trying your best to rewrite some text, be it from a paper, be it from someone else's thesis, or someone else's ideas into your own words. You can very easily be caught out for plagiarizing, and that is something that you absolutely do not want to do. I'm going to be talking about how to paraphrase whilst keeping the meaning of the text whilst rewriting the words in your own tone and also maintaining referencing and citations accurately. This video is also kindly sponsored by Zyro, um, which is a really cool platform where you are able to build your own personal or professional website. And I've also got a really special discount code for you. So if you want to go and support me um, and support my channel, I'd love for you to keep on watching and don't forget to press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell notification to see more from me every single time that I post. So the first thing you want to do to paraphrase um, some text is to read the citations or to read the text that it is that you are trying to paraphrase. Now most likely you probably are looking at a paper and you're interested in paraphrasing some parts of that paper to add to your literature review or maybe to add to your discussion or to your essay. Um, so the first thing you need to do is to actually read that paper. Um, it's very difficult to paraphrase without understanding what it is that that paper or what it is that these source is trying to say. You then want to move on and summarize the study in your own words. Now this is where the paraphrasing is going to essentially occur um, by magic. Without even trying, you are going to paraphrase and that is by writing it in your own words. So whatever, however it is that you understood the text that you read, whatever it is that you took away from it, write it in your own words. There's a few key concepts that you want to bear in mind whilst writing. And the first is what the aims are of that paper. What are the aims of this study? What is the purpose or the intention of the study that you've just read? That could be something that you write about. Secondly, what's the methods and what are the key results that that paper um, has mentioned? So to be able to paraphrase, you need to be able to say what those results are in your own words. So again, that could be a theme that you write about or the significance. So how significant is the paper? You could say the take home message in your own words. What would it be? It could also be a theme that you take away from the paper that you just read. And number three is where you write the sentences as your own version. And there are a few things that you can do when paraphrasing. One way of doing this is by starting the sentence at a different point. Other than following the same structure of how they've written the sentence, you can kind of almost flip it and start from their end and make that your beginning. Um, and this is simply just making like a mirror image of that sentence. That already would lead to having a slightly different sentence with the same meaning. Also use synonyms and use a thesaurus for this. So rather than using the exact same words, if they say that this paper shows, um, rather than saying shows, you can go ahead and use a different word. Um, you can use suggest or you can use illustrate. Um, just a different word so it's not going to be picked up by plagiarism checkers. So sentences are either written in the active voice or the passive voice. So active voice is where the sentence is led by the subject, whereas the passive voice is where the sentence is led by the object. So again, you can kind of swap that around um, and that can again lead to a completely different sentence with the exact same meaning. Rather than taking the exact same sentence and trying to rewrite it, you can break it down into two ideas, although it may be the same sort of meaning, but by breaking it down into two different ideas, you've automatically got completely different sentences that definitely won't be picked up by plagiarism checkers. But do make sure that at the end of those sentences, you reference the citation to ensure that you are not saying that this is your own work because ultimately that is what you are trying to do You're just trying to take those sentences not quote them directly but just kind of um, change the sentences around a little bit to be able to um, paraphrase them. Whilst you do this, make sure you're constantly saying those sentences out loud. 
um, by verbalizing what it is that you're writing, you can not only embed that in your memory so you understand the topic even better, but you're also able to ensure that what you're saying actually makes sense. Um, a lot of the time when you're reading a text and you try to write something that's very similar to that, you can end up with sentences that don't really make sense. If you just take what I've said and try to flip a sentence over, you might end up with sentences that don't make sense and the sentences won't be coherent and it just won't flow very well. So ensure that as you're writing, you're constantly trying your best to vocalize what it is that you're writing, um, just to clarify exactly what it is that you're saying in your mind. I've noticed that blogs have been quite popular, they've sort of resurfaced again. I noticed that in science in particular, people have started to try to translate research that's out there. Um, so trying to take research that has been published in scientific forums and scientific journals and try to make them ex more accessible to the average Joe, to the public. Um, and so one way that you might want to do this is by paraphrasing. So you've picked up a paper, you've taken it from a scientific journal and you now want to write it in a form that sort of makes sense to someone who is not from the science background or maybe someone who isn't as specialized as you. So like I mentioned earlier, Zyro is sponsoring this video and Zyro is an easy way to build your own personal or professional website for any occasion. So it could be for a portfolio, it could be for an online store, it could be for a blog as I just mentioned. Um, and you do not have to be a designer or coder to enjoy Zyro. You can simply be someone who just wants to design their own website from scratch as I've been doing recently um, and Zyro is a really cool platform to be able to do that. The feature that I've been enjoying is their drag and drop feature where you simply just drag different parts of the website um, and different kind of features and different kind of text or images and you just have to drop them to where you want. Also very affordable and you're able to manage multiple marketplaces at once. Um, it's compatible with selling on Amazon, Facebook or Instagram so if you never know your blog, your small little sciencey blog can even end up selling merch or putting adverts on your website um, and it can be a really great business idea too. So using my code Dr. Amina Yonis, you are able to get 30% off of the plans, um, which is really cool. I've actually trained my editors to be able to paraphrase. So paraphrasing is such an important tool as it really is on the border of um, plagiarism, but actually if you paraphrase well, you're able to take the ideas of someone else, write it in your own words, um, and then you're able to cite the original idea to ensure that you are not claiming that sentence as your own. As I mentioned, I would love for you guys to check out Zyro. It's a really, it's such an easy platform for building websites. I've built many websites before and I've used many platforms before. As you guys know, I started off with a blog, um, a travel blog before I started this channel and it took me ages to build the website and it did not look very nice at all. So definitely check out the link in my bio down below for 30% off of a website plan um, and let me know what you guys plan to use it for. Uh, essay writing can be very difficult and paraphrasing is an, is an aspect of essay writing that is sort of inevitable. You have to take thoughts from other people, take work from other people, try to cite other people's work, um, but make sure that you're not copying text directly um, and rather you're paraphrasing and trying to organize that text in a way that um, sounds like your own uh, voice, but actually kind of retains the meaning of the original text. I'd love it if you left me a comment down below letting me know if you have paraphrased before, the struggles that you've had with it in the past and maybe um, how you're going to move forward and try to improve on your paraphrasing and essay writing. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment and a like and a subscribe. I would absolutely love that um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'd love it if you left me a comment down below letting me know if you have paraphrased before, the struggles that you've had with it in the past and maybe um, how you're going to move forward and try to improve on your paraphrasing and essay writing. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment and a like and a subscribe. I would absolutely love that um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.